Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue on working with the employee engagement survey that I created in the last demo. And now we're going to improve this. As you see, it's a rather long list of questions. It looks very boring. So uh, what I want to do is create a wizard interface here so that you can click on the next one and answer one question at a time without seeing the whole list. So that's what I'm going to be doing, creating a Power Apps wizard interface. So now to do that, I'm going to go and integrate here and do Power Apps and customize forms. Now it's setting up the connections and the data sources. And here are my columns. And as you see, it uh, put everything in there all the way up to number 12. So let's add the rest of them also. I'm just going to do one at a time here because then I don't have to move them over. It will add them at the bottom. If I do multiple, then it will do it in the wrong order, which is not what I want at all. Twenty-two. All right. So let's add them all there. So now I have them all in my form here. And of course, what I want to do now is change this uh, SharePoint form here to create a kind of a wizard interface. To do that, first of all, I'm just going to do the UI. I'm going to insert some arrows. Select one that you like. So I'm just going to do the next arrow here. I'm not going to drag and drop it because then it thinks I want it in the form. I'm just going to click on it and then it creates it outside of the form which is exactly what I want and then I'm going to insert the arrow left back arrow there do the same thing there we go so there is the basis of my wizard UI so and I'm also going to insert a label here just put it in the middle there just to show where we are I don't want that one to be visible I'll work on that one later but what I want now is to create the UI here. Now to create this wizard UI, first I need to create a variable and I'm going to go into the app to do that. And on the app start, on start, then I'm going to set a variable when I start the application. So set the uh, current question number. I'm going to set that one to be one. That's the one I want to be visible first, right? When we start the app. And I'm just going to run that uh, on start now. So now that current question variable does indeed contain the number one. So next I'm going to select all of these data cards here on the left. I'm going to create a, f a filter formula for all of these. I'm going to create a formula on the visible property on all of those. I selected all the ones except title. I'm going to do something different with that one later. But now I'm going to check if the um, current data card, which I refer to as the self, if that displays name starts with the current number and a period, then that one should be visible. The other ones should not be visible. So starts with, right? And the starts with function takes a text and the text we're going to check is the self display name. And if that starts with the current question number and period. Let's do a space there just to make it visible, readable. There we go. So let's put a parenthesis around that and see what's going on with the number 12 there. The 12 should not be visible. So there's something wrong with the number 12. Let's see, what have I done with that? Yeah, of course, I didn't select number 12. That's why number 12 is showing up here. All right, so let's do that one later. Uh, but you see it's already working in the UI there. So now number one and number 12 are still visible. So let's go to number 12 and put the same thing there and that's going to go away. So now only number one is visible. Let's just check that this works now. If I go to the app on start and let's set that one to number two now and then we run that and we'll see that it's going to switch to number two. All right. But that's not what we want to do, of course. We um, just did that for testing to see that it works. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just modify that variable when I click these. So on select, on, on the left one, I'm going to set the variable per question number. I'm going to set that to the per question number minus one, right? And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one here, uh, but it's going to be a plus instead. 
So uh, let's check on the app, what's going on there, and then we run that now. Run on start, yeah. Okay, so let's play the app. Right, the problem here now is that the SharePoint form should not be in edit mode, it should be in new mode, because we're doing a new survey here. So let's run it, and number two, number one, All right, so you see the wizard interface is indeed working. And that's what I wanted to show in this demo. When you have a large number of questions and you want to build a wizard interface, how do you work with that? So thank you for watching this demonstration.